What is a haunted house? If you're not fortunate enough to have Hollywood giving you millions of dollars, what do you do? You turn to Halloween, you can put all those nightmares you had when you were a kid into three dimensions. Haunted housing is just growing at an unbelievable rate. They're popping up everywhere. This is all across the country, you know, they're all over the place. When people find out that this is like my passion, they think it's cool that we do it for free and um, maybe even a little bit weird. A lot of times people think I worship the devil. That's not true at all. I mean, I was, I was raised really well in a good Christian background. I show them my heart and they're like, I, I had no idea you're in this kind of bloody stuff. Moving around in high school is, a, you know, it's difficult and like, I guess a, a, a good way to like deal with it and you know, doing the, the home haunts and stuff, the, the yard displays, getting really into that. I've always loved art. Like, I always loved to draw. And this is like how you really bring it into the next dimension. He's always been um, very artistic. I think they were a little reticent to want to let us use their driveway. That's why we did it on the yard the first year, which was also kind of a surprise because we killed the lawn. No, it's not, it's not a hassle having the haunted house. It makes us feel good that he's doing that instead of what he could be doing or, you know. What other kids his age? What other kids his age are doing. My relationship with Trevor, uh, that started in high school. We realized that this was like a similar passion. We're best friends, we've been friends for a long time. Uh, I'd say probably about nine years. Creating something with your friend, I mean that's, that's a whole nother level. Me and Trevor definitely have our own strengths. It starts with Brandon, he's very good with doing the blueprints. He's great with math, lighting, and dimensions and stuff. He's got all the crazy imagination, you know, all those ideas. Usually we, we detail and uh, modify props. We do them, you know, this is from scratch. I did the wound out of uh, air dry clay, liquid latex. And we had this idea where we would take a, like a tie for his thing. You do a tie and we were gonna make a flesh tie. We're waking up at seven in the morning on our days off and going to bed at two in the morning. It's a completely free maze. That we do it for fun. We're not doing it to, to make any money off of it. Definitely one of the, the ways we get around it is doing the, the donations. If they're giving cardboard, you know, we can use that. We can turn that into something great. We did like close to half the maze last year with cardboard. That's when the creativity comes out. That's when you can really tell how creative someone is if for such a limited budget they can pull some amazing stuff off. I don't think I can imagine myself doing anything else. No matter what I did, it always drew me back to this. I remember spending an entire year just saving every little dime that I had so I could get that fog machine. His haunts, when, uh, when he first started, they were in the garage, and then went from the garage to the driveway, and then to the front yard. They just kept getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> so every year it was something new. My family and my dad, they've all been very supportive of everything I've done from 15 years old, you know, all the way to now. I come over here periodically, uh, to help him when I when I know he's really busting time. Sometimes I'll arrive here and he's already here and he just happened to decide to come in and clean and work. Jeff is just so creative. When I came home from work one day, I pulled in the driveway and he had the garage door up and he was making fountains with a head with it with blood running out and it would recirculate into it. I said, what are you doing? He said, I just sold 40 of these. <laughs> I think I'll never forget that. <laughs> people that are doing haunted attractions are really trying to immerse people in that movie experience and bring that motion picture experience to life. Anybody can go into a comedy club and laugh, but to go into just every single haunt and have it be such a different experience each time is just, it's amazing. It's, it's mind blowing. We've had people hyperventilate. We've had people soil themselves. You know, they get scared, their hearts beat, and then they start laughing. <laughs> we created a room where you would actually go in and have to physically do something to escape the room. And the reaction to that was the biggest and best reaction we've ever had. Yeah, like all years, we're already planning for next year. Want to get an even bigger facade, you know, bigger. Want to go even farther into the yard. It will do the, the lawn and the driveway so you can't even get into my house. 
I plan on being a haunter my, my whole life. It's completely worth it. Just to see those expressions on people's faces when they come out, I mean, that's what it's all about. That's why I do this. Soul Pancake, subscribe.